your tool time with tools, reviews, and stories from text that you can trust. Edgy Tools, it's the little things that make the big difference. The king of useful doodads, making your job easier every day. Mushy, okay. mushy. Ohio gozaimasu. <laughs> How you doing, Dave? Do you, Good have you have you learned <laughs> visit ansonpdr.com have you learned uh, to say mushy mushy when you answer the telephone your PDR tools no, you I didn't know that. Hog glue yeah that's how apps. you answer the telephone Mobile in Japan Tech mushy mushy yeah you know what yakumashi means don't forget to grab your magnet tech yeah, mat yakumashi means shut up PDR tool <laughs> so, yakumashi, <laughs> thanks for listening <laughs> no I, i've learned all the drinking terms though <laughs> <laughs> of course you have yeah. So Dave uh, Strange in uh, in Japan. You're in Osaka, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Osaka, Japan. One of the culinary capital for the world. My God, the food is great here. And so great. yeah, you've been uh, doing great job on doing some posts and showing off some stuff there. And sh you showed off your your uh, your room. Um, and and then it looked like you had to go outside to change your mind for a second. And then come yeah, back in. Exactly, exactly. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty small over there, huh? And I'm up in the penthouse. You know, like I don't know if they're all the same or if mine are bigger or what, but yeah, it's it's crazy. You know, and just some of the different features and stuff of the rooms are wild. Right. So, yeah, I heard. The, uh, I heard it's really condensed. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Um, they have that system where you you put your room key in the little slot and it activates all the electricity so you have your lights and everything. And I keep forgetting my key in there. Yeah. So <laughs> twice they've had to make me new keys. And, and when they make you a new key, they walk you up to the room to make sure you don't have any further issues. <laughs> so it's like totally feel embarrassed. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so it's funny. The walk of shame. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's not just me. There's like, you know, tons of people doing it so so what's so my what am what what am i going to talk to may i have your permission to ask him how it's going over there daniel yes all right <laughs> <laughs> how's it going we're, we're going to get into your tips in a little bit dude because i i okay. want to awesome. talk about awesome. tips, dude, okay but uh yeah uh, so give me so are you, have you met jma over there so I'm not sure. I'm so bad with names and everything. He's the, the Taiwanese uh, people. They're, they're, tons he's tons of guys. Oh yeah, yeah. They're, they're amazing, Interior. and uh, they're getting ready for uh, the second competition uh, for finalists. And man, am I lucky I didn't, <laughs> you know, accidentally fall into that group. Because holy cow, these dents are like they have to fix five dents that are insanely deep in an hour. Now you right. you did the competition yesterday, right? Yes, yes. Now How, my how'd first you do? Time competing anywhere? Uh, oh, the wheels fell off. It was fantastic. I had such a great time, but <laughs> it was one of those, you know. Um, so the big plan was I knew that John was uh, coming over here, and we're we're doing some uh, competition training. Was one of the main reasons that I came. Was I'm like, well, how can I teach something that I haven't exactly experienced? You know, so. I came here to compete, and uh, but John and I had a, um, uh, which is Z-A-N, is how most people know him on Facebook and stuff. Um, he, we had the plan that I was going to borrow his lights and glue gun and, and uh, tools and all this stuff, so I brought very minimal. I brought a, a huge array of blending hammers and knockdowns, and I brought two rods, uh, door tools was all I brought. And then what happened was uh, we wound up uh, competing at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> so I wow. just thought never even crossed my mind. So it was like a scramble to, to borrow tools from everybody and, and get everything going. So, and it was, you know, uh, you know, learning new glue gun and glues, you know, and uh, yeah, I had issues with the big lights. The, first of all, the battery died because I went at the end of the day. And then when they swapped the battery, uh, when I was finishing my dent, the uh i i was gonna I, we i had a couple minutes left and my plan was to push this one little low out um uh, and then move the light back and and use my blending hammer and get it with flat and yeah. when i went to push my light back the fixture fell off oh man and so you just I didn't can get win time, so yeah so yeah it was, but it was so much fun and i have a totally different mindset now and uh, you know, like a lot of people, I'm sure, I mean, there's 
a lot of nervousness going into it and trying to think your game plan and everything. And, you know, as soon as the buzzer, you know, goes to your, your game plan falls out, you know, it's like the Mike Tyson thing, you know, everybody has a uh, plan until they get punched in the face. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's um, always, it's always, I think it's always great to, to have that feeling too, man. It just kind of, yeah. I don't know, Dave, it kind of like, it, I, I don't know what to say. It makes you uh, really kind of, respect your own trade again you know what i mean not that you did oh, it yeah you know yeah what i mean no, keeps no. Yeah. that's all you know but they're, they're totally, the totally, japanese yeah. are are sitting there gathering around them just watching intently and oh yeah that's yeah. gonna make you even more nervous you know you got this yeah. big crowd watching where mte <laughs> it, it, me, people are just mingling by it usually it seems like yeah yeah no this was uh they were like three or four rows deep, like, you know, sitting in the front and kneeling behind them and standing behind them. Uh, you know, just crazy, you know, look at, look at the American, look at the everywhere American. And, yeah. Yeah. Now, how it many was, people were there? Amazing. Think? How many people are there? Uh, 500. Maybe? That's pretty good. Yeah. Would be my guess. You know, it was, uh, uh, you know, it was not as big as MTE by any means, but it was bigger than some other shows. So, um, you know, it was, pretty amazing and i shot a lot of video i posted some but i'm gonna be putting some stuff together and kind of showing it but uh i'm going i've had such an amazing time already uh i'm gonna put together a group uh for you know hopefully get a ton of us americans coming over and uh make it really easy and fun that we can all travel together and i want to go nothing to be nervous about or anything so yeah i mean it's it's just amazing now do you yesterday you were you were somewhere like it was almost like a museum and there's uh, all these uh, knives and stuff. What was that? Yeah. About? Yeah. So that was, you walk right out of uh, where we are um, exhibiting and literally the next, the next door over was like this knife museum with all these famous knife makers and just some really unique blades and craftsmanship and everything that went into them. And so it was just kind of cool and a little free deal to, Walk so into we, and check out. And, Dave, you need to get one of those guys to make us some uh, Japanese dent tools, samurai dent tools. Exactly. Yep. That would be cool. <laughs> you now, whose host so, is yeah. it? Is it Hiroshi's? Yes. What? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Good deal. So yeah. And, just, and so like I'm walking around outside good. right now and I've taken two photos. Like, just cool stuff that you don't see anywhere else. Yeah. That, um, you know, just, uh, I mean, every, the food's amazing, the drink, I mean, just the people, it's so neat. And uh, it's not like traveling to other countries that understand English really well. Like a lot of times there's just zero communication other than, you know, smiling and miming and stuff. Uh, what do you mean? They, they don't speak that really, much really English? Neat. Is that what uh, so Some of them do, but no, most of them uh, that I've run across have it. Uh, okay. Yeah, but yeah, they got technology that will translate for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi. There's an app called Say Hi. Yeah, you can do that. Um, really? Okay, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So, hey, listen, I want to talk to you about your tips, man. I, I was yeah. tried your tips today, awesome. man, and cool. uh, your tip and your covers that go over it. What do you call them again? Yeah. So we have the ooh la la is our our most popular tip ever. It was been the knockers tip, and so yeah. we made the ooh la la, which is basically a knockers tip made out of our tiki material. Uh, that's been so popular and I just think it has a great feel and then we have uh, we call them pasties uh, like the strippers would use or whatever but uh, a lot of people are calling them tip condoms I don't care what you call them uh, that's, <laughs> yeah, I, I called it a tip condom yeah. and then your wife corrected me yeah. I like her I like the pasties yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah so um, and that was that was the deal I, I kind of let cat out of the bag and I uh, wanted the Black Friday sale to be kind of exciting and so uh without knowing prices or packaging or anything like that, I, I let them go there. So, but if, if guys still want them, just leave it in the messages or something and, you know, we'll hook you what up you that talking way. About? They won't People be for sale messing. until MTE. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, 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 I over talked to you. I did a Daniel Grom on you, dude. So sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no worries. No worries. But yeah, they will be officially like released at MTE. 
Okay, but, okay uh, because like, there's a lot yeah. of people, Dave. There's a lot of people that yeah. messaged me and asked me, I can't find him, and blah, blah, blah. And then Don yeah. Scott is apparently, yeah. yeah, he got the, he put the story straight that you only released them on Black Friday, but they're great. They have, so the yeah. tip or the, the, the what, I'm sorry, the, uh, the tips that the covered base, over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They, 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 they're different, different thicknesses of, of rubber, right? They're, they're different durometers, yeah, it's what's called basically the squishiness. So uh, we're getting ready to change our whole lineup of the caps to where it's going to be uh, soft, medium, and hard. So you're going to have green is always going to be soft. Uh, orange is always going to be the medium. Those two are silicone, but different durometers of it. And then the black is going to be the hardest always, and that's a neoprene. Um, so they'll hold up the heat um, really well and and yeah, they should last a long time and they just deliver a, a great, you know, a blow to move the metal and zero marking. I mean, I, I used it myself in the Olympics, uh, or in, not the Olympics, but the competition yesterday. You know, that's how much faith I had that they just will do whatever you want to do. Yeah, they work good. So, I used them on a motorcycle yeah, tank today. No, no problemos. It works awesome. I think it's my new go-to tip right. for for, for awesome. that and 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 i haven't tried it on much other than that but i'm really looking okay. forward to it dave and and, and congratulations awesome. on another another trinket you made dude that's going to be awesome <laughs> thanks so much yeah i put it on my blending hammer yeah. and um it's going to stay there it's my new nice. my new tip nice i'm d- digging oh, it awesome. for sure cool oh, thanks i just need a bag of the blacks black pasties yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome, everybody Dave. always just wants the hardest but you gotta play around with the other ones too i will i will so yeah yeah now have but, you uh, have you done so, any sightseeing while you're there uh we are going to so i'm saying uh longer than about anybody i think uh and we've got plans uh we're going to kyoto it's another city and we're going to uh i guess there's a thousand monks uh, uh statues and they're all lined up to where you know but they're all yeah. different and stuff so we're gonna go check that out on monday and so, I, uh, so I, this has been just the show so far for me but yeah i've been to japan and, and a couple a couple of things that stood out for me is we took the bullet train past uh, mount fuji and we went to okay. we went to uh where these monkeys live and it's a hot spring and they're basically okay. hot tub and monkeys <laughs> and they sit around. Oh, wow. just, oh yeah. It was, it was great. Okay. It was a hoot. Um, yeah. All right. I nice. I think that's, yes. I don't remember uh, where exactly it was. That we're going. Yeah. Yeah. They mentioned something about monkeys and stuff. So I don't know if that'll be the same place. Yeah. It might be. They've and got then amazing the, stuff lined up. Uh, and the, um, the temples are just absolutely mind boggling because they're, they're like, 300 years old or something like maybe even older than that. I forget how old they are. They're like ancient old and there's not a nail in the thing. These big giant enormous, uh, structures are all put together with tongue and groove. And it's, it's mind boggling wow. to see the workmanship and the craftsmanship that went into these things hundreds of years ago. Um, yeah, they're really wow. impressive. I'm going to be going down to Japan in in uh, summer in the Summer Olympics, so I'll be out there. Oh, very my cool. Off. So, are you going for the Olympics? <laughs> yeah, we're going there for the Olympics, and I think we're going to be doing some kind of impossible. Like they might have an event out there too, as well at the same time. So, I'm not sure yet. That's that's still up in the air, but for sure, I'm going going to Japan no matter what for the Olympics. Very cool. So, yeah, oh. we'll talk a lot then. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, there's, but it, it's really easy. I mean, they use the same plugs as ours and, uh, a lot of that stuff that you don't have to worry about like you do, you know, in other countries, yeah. uh, for a lot less and, uh, but yeah, I mean, just, uh, and the conversion of the money is pretty easy too. um, that it's, it's, but it's a way, uh, it's a big jump. I forget it, but I think it's like, I don't know if it's ten dollars is a thousand yen or something, but you get these bills that are like ten thousand, you know, yen. And, yeah, you think you're rich. Yeah, you know, I think it's like hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but a hundred bucks doesn't go very far over there, dude. No, no, I, I, I got the equivalent of like it was over seven hundred or whatever at the airport, and it was gone the first night. <laughs> no way, really? It was like 
sixty-five thousand yen or something. Yeah, yeah, we. Well, I know you go hard, dude. And, I, I know you, dude. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How was the We're sushi? Going, uh, sushi is amazing. Uh, you know, stuff that I've never even seen or heard of before. I mean, obviously the fish, but the way they prepared and you know displayed it has just been wild. And uh, we had these things. Uh, I'll be posting some video of. They they melt this entire block of cheese and they come out and they scrape a huge hunk off onto the fried chicken. So that's a real healthy uh, meal. And you just <laughs> devour it. <laughs> like, wow, wow! It's, it's almost it's keto, but it's like you got to you got to lose the uh, fried skin, though, dude. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, well, yeah, and, uh, I know that we're on the mission for uh, Igor's. Uh, Asked his uh, guide or whatever to uh, find us a 60 day dry aged uh, Wagyu beef uh, oh, plate oh. for Monday night. So I'll be looking forward to that. <laughs> Very nice. And uh, I know Shalat just went over to Kobe and, uh, you know, has Kobe beef and yeah. you know, lobster and everything. And that looked amazing. That's cool. So, well, you yeah. tell everybody it's the whole funny, crew the and else. Because he's here working and I'm, I'm, you know, walking around enjoying the show and talking to everybody and <laughs> yeah, like role reversal. Nice. Well, tell, tell Dave, tell everybody I said hi over there too. So oh, we'll do, we'll do. And yeah, like I say, we got to, maybe you guys can help me out too, to spread the word. I want to get a bunch of guys coming, you know, from America next year. Cause it's just, it's a lifetime experience for sure. Really? For sure. Is. Definitely. So, well, I'm down. I'll go with yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. Well, we we'll try and get our own dense planes. There you go. <laughs> well, we appreciate you coming on, Dave, and uh, giving us an yeah. update report what's going on in Japan and the the competition. So the um yeah. the the competition you did it that's only the step one, right? And then it then yeah, that's step, step one. There was forty eight of us, and they narrowed it down to eight. And then those eight compete for the so final, right? Those eight are competing in about well, about fifteen minutes. They'll be going off, and uh, like I say, there's there's one dent on the fender that I'd look at that thing and say, "Wow, I don't know if I could fix that one in an hour." And they've got to fix four other ones on top of it. Wow! <laughs> so it's uh, well, do me a favor, competition. Do me a favor and it post is. the results um, on PDR Tool Time. Um, you okay. know, one through. Five, yeah. five, you know, if you could. Uh, okay. So it's yeah, nice definitely. And clear for everybody. Yeah. 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 Cool. And, uh, yeah, I got, uh, I know two of the guys, too, were out drinking at five in the morning still. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> not to get his name, but uh, there's a uh, guy from South Korea that's just an animal, <laughs> you know, and I, obviously Jean is uh, phenomenal. Um, he was like, definitely sick just fatigued and jet lagged and everything before the competition you know like just ghost white cold and he still you know killed it shines <laughs> you know yeah. yeah killed it so i'm like yeah. wow but it, it really it's really easy to walk around the competitions and be like oh man that guy left it really high or you know oh they're still pitted it you know and be real judgmental but when you realize that these are some of the best guys in the world and it's strictly a matter of time. And it's, it's really, can, you know, there's that slow, smooth, smooth, it's fast, but you're racing the clock and you know, you're not going to have time to finish. So we're, you know, what's your technique and everything. And, um, you know, now that I've done it, I have a totally different strategy than what I had in my head going into it. So, and I even designed a new product in my head that would help with this kind of stuff, which <laughs> translates to helping out in the field. So, um, you know, it's, um, uh, pretty cool, you know, well, but, that uh, would, that would be cool because if you can get a product that can actually not only help you faster, but cleaner at the same time, I'm all for it. You know, uh, yeah, but I, exactly. I, I'm going to, I'm going so. to elaborate on your point though. I think you made a good point though, is you've you, you got to how can you rush perfection right i mean because when you're in a competition yeah. like that you know i i'll be honest with you right now i can't i at the competition and las vegas i already told myself like man i need an hour just for that door that they did over there yeah. uh, let yeah. alone you're saying five of those like that in an hour over there are guys actually finishing yeah. them 
Is, are they finishing those things in, in an hour yeah, and doing a yeah. good job? I mean, the, and, and what's kind of cool is like they're they're purposely shorting the time on on the guys I, I, because it, like if we all had five hours, how would you judge them? You know, yeah. oh, yeah. this one's got a little tiny tap mark. You, no, they they purposely cut the time short to see who's really perfecting it. You know, as fast and as clean as possible. And uh, there's there's some guys like one guy finished super early i think he had like 27 minutes left or something it was ridiculous and um he said nope i'm done you know and and uh i guess if he would have spent like one or two more minutes he would have you know glassed them uh just a phenomenal tech but most of the people uh don't have nearly enough time you know and that's why like i said you know they're they're getting them really really close but they're not, you know, retail ready. Uh, some of them are, by, for sure. But, you know, some of them, and that's where I was saying, like, it's really easy to walk by and go, oh, man, they all left them a little high or, oh, they shift on this or whatever. Whereas when you actually compete and you see, you're, you realize why it was. was Well, yeah, if I had three more minutes or, you know, if this would have been a little different, it would have come out different. So it's really, really a, a different whole mindset. I don't know if you guys have competed yet in any of these things. I did way back in the day at MTE and uh, okay. at the Orlando, the Florida, uh, Clearwater. Yeah. But, okay. um, yeah. Yeah, I got too much of a reputation to mess up now, dude. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was worried about, too. I'm like, they, you know, they called my name and I go, oh, I think they're taking my dent card away from me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm but, kidding. No, just seriously, I, I'm not... I'm I'm a yeah. I'm a make me take your time slow PDR tech. I'm not a fast yeah. tech, so I know that competition yeah, but, is not for me. So, no. see, I'm fa- I'm faster these, with these bigger dents. Yeah, I, I you know put me on yeah. a big dent. I can I can whip out a big dent faster than I can a small yeah. dent. It's weird. Yeah, and it's funny because the uh, you know I'm a hail guy, so the rail was no issue for me at all, but. Uh, apparently the rails are a big issue in Japan. Um, uh, so, but, uh, you know, the, the rail that was, you know, fun for me, I mean, enjoyable and the door just whooped me, you know, and, I, and when I say that I took too long on the rail, um, I was planning on spending 15 minutes there and I think I took a half hour or no, what was it? I, mean, I took half the time on the rail then, which I thought was going to take me, you know, a 10th of the time. Yeah, but I, it's one of those. I wasn't watching the clock, and you know, let me get it. You know, I figured I'd glass that one, and then spend all the rest of the time on the door and get it as close as I could. Let me ask you something, Dave. Yeah. Um, what's what's the average dent guy in Japan? What's what's his workload like? Is he is he a route guy? Because um, I know you know shops are at a premium. You know, what are the dent guys doing over there? for their business how how does that even look that's what i'm kind of interested in Um, i'm gonna find out more of that because that's a great question i know that um you know hiroshi has a shop and they do a lot of training and stuff but and they were telling me yesterday that um like said the rails and and other areas car they just don't know how to do yet there are at least not enough of them do to handle i i forget the numbers he was saying there's X number of millions of people and like, you know, 200 dent guys or something ridiculous. Like it was, um, you know, just crazy what they were telling me. So yeah, I'll find out about that. Okay. Um, well, we, you know, we got that was another thing. Like all the cards are different and okay, yeah, we, we running out of time. Yeah. We're running out of time. We got to cool. uh, okay. close out, but, um, yeah, cool. we'll be looking for your post there, Dave. And thanks for, uh, yeah. phoning awesome. in. Awesome. Yep. I'll post Dave. that and I'll post some other stuff. I'll try and share a lot. So, cool. Awesome, Dave. Now well, have I, a good time there. Tell everyone yeah. we said hello. All right. Yep, we'll definitely will. Thanks so much, guys. All right. Take care. Talk Take to care. you soon. Bye bye. All right. All right. Bye. All right. That was Dave Stream from Japan. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, dude. Like, uh, so we'll see you on the next segment, right? I'll see you on the next segment. Yep. Because I want to real quick so we can open it up for the next segment, but I really. Got a couple minutes. Got I'm really excited to talk about the Glexo Sonic tips, dude. I've been using them, and they. I'm going to tell you right now that they work. So nice. I, I like them. I like nice. them. So, anyways, I know what you doing calling me on a 
Saturday night, man. Don't you got stuff to do, man? I'm working on my motorcycle. And then you call me and I'm in here working. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you working on a motorcycle tank? No, I'm working on, I'm building a motorcycle. Oh, are you? Yeah. 74 Kawasaki. I I'm doing, thought your yeah. days of riding were over, dude. It's going to be a wall hanger. It's going to be uh -huh. an art, it's going to be an art piece. Okay. What, I, what, all right. what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do PDR on the tank and actually purposely dent in the tank. So I'm going to dent it in on the sides for your knees to kind of fall into. Yeah. So I'm going to see if I can do it with PDR. It'll be interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, you need you need to put, keep posting the build on that, dude. Like, oh, well, I, you need to vlog that thing, dude. I am. I've been filming it. Yeah, all right. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. So, all right. Hey, I'll, I'll we'll see you uh, on the next segment, dude. All okay. Right? Take care. Bye. Bye. Visit AnsonPDR.com for the largest selection for just about all your PDR tools, where you'll find hog glue and hog tabs. Mobile Tech RX, the app that helps you make more money. Don't forget to grab your Magnatech map, available at most PDR tool distributors. Thanks for listening.